Hi, I'm Matt Rhodes. I'm Head of Business Development and Specification at Sangaban Insulation UK. The role includes leading a team of individuals that primarily work with architects and building designers to support insulation product specification at early stage. Here at Sangaban Insulation UK, we are best known for manufacturing both glass mineral wool and PIR under the e-server and Celtex brands respectively. Pole Term is an A1 rated non-combustible stone mineral wool. It's been BBA certified for both rain screen cladding and brick outer steel frame buildings. It can also be used in the timber frame application. Something we do get a lot of positive comments on is its black glass veil facer. This helps prevent shear through in some ventilated facade systems. The Sangaban Group vision is to be the worldwide leader in light and sustainable construction. My team's particular focus is in the commercial sector. This is supporting designers with buildings like offices, hotels and hospitals. And these buildings lend themselves to steel frame construction, very much in line with light and sustainable construction. Because of Paul Termax Plus's features, it's an excellent product to use on the external face of a steel frame building. It can help the building designer satisfy thermal, fire and acoustic requirements. This is why Paul Termax Plus is a great product to have in the Sangaman Insulation UK portfolio. We have resources and services to be able to support and specify all the way from stage one through to stage five. The team can help with insulation product specification support, U-value calculations, and things like tender considerations and contractor proposals. We also have a dedicated technical services team to be able to help with the more non-conventional technical requests, and a building physics team that considers the buildings from a more holistic perspective, and that's something that unfortunately is often overlooked these days. There's three main questions we get asked from a building specifier, mainly architects, and that is, is it non-combustible? What U-value can it achieve? and has it been tested? When they say has it been tested, they generally mean has it been fire tested? So the answer to the former two questions is simple. Yes, it's an A1 rated non-combustible product. In terms of U value, it depends on two things. The thickness of the insulation required and the building construction as a whole. But we can support with the U value calculations from an internal point of view. The question regarding has it been tested, specifically fire tested, is a difficult question to answer because it's very broad and it's very vague. However, we have recently embarked on quite a comprehensive fire testing program with our fellow group company, British Gypsum. Effectively, what we've done here is we have fire tested a combination of British Gypsum plasterboards, British Gypsum sheathing boards, and Sangaman Insulation UK insulation products. This has been tested to an industry recognized standard um, and it's a timed fire test. So when we get asked the question, has it been fire tested? And they specifically mean Polter Max Plus. We can answer, yes, it's been tested in a given buildup to specific parameters. So in answer to why would an architect use Polter Max Plus, the testing program we've embarked on gives them a good reason to. We can now say that Polter Max Plus is supported by performance-based test data that would give a building designer like an architect or a main contractor design manager the peace of mind that the product performs under combustion how we say it does. If you want to find out more about Polter Max Plus, you can go on our website, insulation-uk.com, and you can request a callback from one of our specification managers. They'll be able to give you specific support regarding new values, contractor proposals, and any other product inquiries you may have.